Hello again, YouTube. Okay, so this one is going to be probably the most advanced uh, harmonica thing that I will ever post. Um, and uh, if you guys can do this, I think it's a pretty nifty trick. Um, and uh, actually, people go to the Guinness Book of World Records to try and do this the longest. Actually, the, the grandfather, the granddaddy of it all, wasn't, didn't do it on harmonica. It was Rasan Roland Kirk. He's a great influence of mine. Um, he played the most amazing saxophone, flute, and other instruments that I've ever heard. But he could circular breathe like no one else. And it's actually not that hard to do, and something that's, that's even easier on the harmonica than other instruments. So if you guys like messing around, have a bunch of time to kill, um, want to take the harp with you somewhere, um, it's a great thing to try and practice. The best way to kind of approach it is to uh, think of it as, you know, you need to un unyoke your, uh, your, your mouth and then, and then your nose. So you need to have a pocket of air in your mouth that you blow out while you inhale through your nose. Um, so kind of a, a good way to start doing this is just to go get any sort of a, a noise that you can to come out of your mouth, um, just like a little whistle through your teeth or just like what I was doing before, and then breathe regularly. When you get used to doing that, you're getting used to making your mouth muscles and then breathing regularly, and that's what you're going to have to do with the harmonica. The best place to try it is to try it on something a higher note. And then what you'll want to do is get used to blowing the note and then using uh, blowing the note just by using your mouth. So all I'm doing is going and then practice going and inhaling through your your nose at the same time so it's and then it's just linking it all together through practice you're going to be able to circular breathe it, it'd probably be boring if i did that for a while but um, that's really all it is, and it can sound pretty fierce when people are, when there's musicians playing really, really hard uh, behind you. You do that for a while, and then you go to a regular solo. It's, uh, it's nice. It's nice. Um, so give it a try. Remember, that's really it. Um, I hope I'm not giving away too many secrets, because then really my solos are are not going to be that cool anymore. Um, but, uh, yeah, hope you guys found it useful, and let me know what other uh, topics to post.